Hey everybody, this is Nick with Frost CNC, and today I'm going to show you how to do some uh, part shaping on a number of parts, uh, in this case fixed shelves, uh, inside of a cabinet, uh, with a quick custom parameter uh, for some one-off shaping. So let's do it! All right, so uh, we're going to start from this point here uh, where I've already kind of designed out the, the cabinet. Uh, you can see I started with just a wall single door cabinet from the library, uh, removed the door, uh, and then added two partitions on the interior tab, uh, and then added a bunch of fixed shelves here. I think there's a little more than uh, 30 of them. Uh, and so my goal here is to, uh, I want to scoop the uh, front of these fixed shelves, and I want to do it on all of them. Uh, and I'm going to do it in a way here so I don't have to actually go uh, modify each one. Uh, and so I'm going to do that with a quick uh, one-off custom parameter uh, and show you how I can apply it just at this cabinet uh, quickly. So uh, I will say if this is something you want to have uh, long-term in your library, what I'm about to show you might not be the best route. Uh, the point of this video is for kind of quick one-off uh, custom parameters for you. Uh, so let's go get started. So I'm going to close up the editor here. And I'm going to flip over to my settings. We're going to go libraries, and I'm going to edit the construction method that I've got in, in the job here. And uh, when I do that, I'm going to go down here to custom parameters, and I'm going to make a new one. So let's hit new here, and I'm going to call this uh, scoop fixed shelf. Okay. And it will be modifying existing parts, so I will keep that there. Next, I'm going to go over to product, uh, and you can see some of the options here. I want this to apply to potentially base wall or tall. In this case, this is a wall cabinet. Um, but ultimately, I'm going to do this by name. And so I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, wall scoop uh, FS, fixed shelf. And so what it's going to do is it's going to look for cabinets with that name. And if it has that name, it's going to apply this custom parameter. So you can see how... Just by doing that, I can now uh, go rename that cabinet, and whatever I do here will apply just to that cabinet. Now, longer term, I would prefer to actually do this as product options if you wanted this option in multiple cabinets in your library, uh, but we'll go down that road uh, in another video. So let's flip over to part now, and it says here uh, part type. So the part type I want is fixed shelf. We'll go up here and find fixed shelf. There it is. And what I'm doing is a shape modification. So I'm going to hit shape here and edit the shape. And so there's my generic fixed shelf shape. And so what I'm going to do is on the front edge here, I'm going to add that scoop. Now I'm going to do this rather quickly. This is not going to be a video about shaping. Um, but basically I'm going to tie it to the center of the part by doing part L divided by 2. And then I'm going to say that I just want an 8-inch uh, scoop in width. So I'll take 4 inches to the uh, left of center, like so. I'll go ahead and put 0 here. And then on this other point, I'm going to go ahead and add 4 inches to the right of the center line. And so now it'll be 8 between them, always in the center of the part, like so. And then right here on this, I'm going to bulge this in by, we'll say, I don't know, negative one and a half, something like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there's my scoop on my fixed shelf. So let's go try it out. Go ahead and hit OK, get back out to my job. Now, I intentionally left one part out. You're going to see one issue that's going to come out of this, but you'll see how easy this is, at least to get to this stage. So if I edit this product, now I'm going to go ahead and call this the name that I typed in, wall scoop fixed shelf, and hit OK. And you can see already up here, they all changed. I'll go ahead and edit to get to our 3D viewer here. And there we are. Right, so one quick custom parameter, did all 30 in one shot, uh, which is great. Now, uh, I don't know if maybe more advanced users can see the issue here. Uh, but you'll notice that what used to be blind dados uh, are gone. 
And so, uh, and I shouldn't say gone, they're not, the tenons are not on the fixed shelves. The dados themselves, you'll see, are still very much blind. You can see them back here. And so basically what's happening there is we are overriding the shape of the fixed shelf. And by doing that, we have to redraw the blind dado tenons. Uh, and so we'll do that. That's no problem. So let's go, okay. We'll go back to settings here. And I'm gonna quick edit that custom parameter that we made. So we'll go to scoop fix shelf, go part, and I'm gonna go back to edit the shape. And so ultimately what we need to do here is we need to add that little notch, the blind part of our, our dado here. And so I'm gonna do that by adding a point on either side here. This point in X, we're gonna call on the fix shelf dado depth like so. And then I'm gonna tie this to the front of the part by doing Y zero. And then this point up here is gonna stay on the left edge of the part, so X zero. And um, in Y, I'm gonna call on the blind dado setback parameter, in my case, one inch. And then also we need to call on the radius of your cutout tool, so blind TLM divided by two. And so make sure your blind TLM parameter is set up right. It should be the diameter of your cutout tool. Uh, and so that right there should compute one and three sixteenths, which is exactly what my uh, setback is on my settings here. And I'm gonna copy that. And so there we're starting to recreate the tenon. So what I'm gonna do now is take this point in Y, I'm gonna paste that setback. And then in X, I'm gonna call on the fixed shelf Dado depth, and there we go. We've recreated perfectly uh, that uh, blind dado or that tenon. And so those formulas that I just used are exactly what Mosaic's using in the background, right? So we're essentially recreating exactly what was there already uh, and doing it completely parametrically. So this will play nice with any changes you make to the cabinet as well. All right, so let's do the same thing in this corner. I'll add a couple points here. So this one, will stay on the right edge of the part, so part L, and the Y will absolutely be that setback that I've uh, copied and can paste in there. This point will be part L minus the fixed shelf dado depth, like so. And I'll tie that to the front edge of the part, going zero and Y. And then this one in X, will be part L minus that fixed shelf dado. And then in Y, we'll go ahead and paste that in. And so there we go. We recreated that uh, blind tenon on the other side there. So now if I go ahead and hit okay, and go back out here, we should absolutely see now that we're back. And there we go. You can see we've got blind tenons now. I'll explode this a little bit. Pretty slick. So it's a pretty quick way to do a one-off uh, shape change, really, um, you know, on many, many parts of the cabinet in one shot. And you'll notice this name thing's pretty cool. So if I edit this cabinet and the name does in fact change, you'll see right away that it, it will go away, right? So they're gone. So pretty slick way to do that. Hope you like the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one.